Well, I've written a book called The Mind Connection. And it's actually about how our thoughts are connected to everything else in our life. You know, our thoughts turn into our words and our words turn into our attitudes and our, our thoughts and words turn into our behavior. And so we really need to realize that all of our relationships, our outlook on life, our relationship with God, everything really begins in our thought life. And a lot of people think that they can't do anything about what they think, but that's absolutely not true. We can choose what we want to think, and we're to learn the Word of God and learn to think according to the Word of God. I often tell people, if you want the life that God wants you to have, then you're going to have to learn to think the way that God thinks. And so this is an encouragement that you can have the life that you want to have. That's one of the chapters in the book. It's actually the first chapter. You can have the life that you've always wanted to have. And the way you can do that is by changing your outlook on life, the way you think about life. You know, a lot of times we, uh, we feel like that we can't do anything about life and we can't always do anything about the circumstances in our life but we can do something about the way that we decide to look at our lives. And so I want you to begin to see the good things in your life and the opportunities that God has given you. You know, I, I actually love this thought about thinking my own thoughts and how when I think the thoughts that I really want to think, that they actually do affect the outcome of my life. I don't know about you, but I think I'm like most people, I want to have a measure of control in my own life. I don't want to feel just like I'm a victim of whatever happens. And this is encouraging to me because I feel like that I can have something to do with the outcome if I will think the way that God wants me to think. So I just want you to be encouraged today that you can think better thoughts than perhaps what you have been thinking. I can do the same thing. And I want to just encourage you that the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Or another translation is, as a man thinks in his heart, so does he become. That's Proverbs 23, 7. And so really what I always say is, where the mind goes, the man follows. Your life is going to follow along with the thoughts that you think. If you think a lot of negative thoughts, then you're likely to have a negative life. But if you believe and expect and think a lot of positive things, then you're putting yourself in a position where more good things can happen to you than, than what would have happened if you would have been thinking negatively. So take a look at your thoughts, and if they need improvement, then start asking God to help you think better things than what you ever have in the past. God bless you.